The Duchess of Sussex has been warned that waging a woke war on Hollywood could backfire with disastrous consequences for her and Prince Harry's own TV and film production company. A senior source spoke out after Meghan used her Spotify podcast last week to condemn toxic Asian stereotypes. She cited the Austin Powers franchise with Mike Myers and Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill, Volume 1 for caricaturing Asian women as over-sexualized or aggressive. A studio boss said yesterday, she's ruffling feathers by attacking 20-year-old iconic movies based on today's new woke morality and isn't exactly endearing herself to studios she and Prince Harry might hope to do business with. If she continues, she will be playing with fire and that could have disastrous consequences for their company Archul. Megan, 41, on her latest Archetypes podcast called The Demystification of Dragon Lady slammed the 2002 Austin Powers hit gold member for sexually tokenizing Asian women. Then she turned her fire on 2003's Kill Bill that features Lucy Liu as an evil crime gang leader, declaring it an example of the harmful Dragon Lady Asian stereotype. The Duchess fumed, movies like Austin Powers and Kill Bill presented these characters of Asian women as over-sexualized or aggressive. And it's not just these two examples, there's so many more. The Dragon Lady, the East Asian temptress whose mysterious foreign allure is scripted as both tantalizing and deadly. But this toxic stereotyping of women of Asian descent, it doesn't just end when the credits roll. Lucy has defended her Kill Bill role, saying her character was one of four professional female killers of different ethnicities, adding, I could have been wearing a tuxedo and a blonde wig and would still have been labeled a Dragon Lady. The Quentin Tarantino fan club called Megan Silly and urged her to watch Kill Bill again, adding Lucy Liu kills macho and bad men, she is a strong woman. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla is leaving the door open to a reconciliation between the royal family and Prince Harry and Meghan, according to her biographer. Angela Levin said Camilla is of the view if they want to come back, they can. In an interview on Breakfast with Esther McVeigh and Philip Davis on GB News yesterday, she said, her belief is you never ditch your family. You always leave the door open. If they want to come back, they can. Piers Morgan has scolded Meghan Markle who recently claimed she was a princess, despite never actually being granted the royal title. Since marrying Prince Harry in 2018, the former Suits actress has been known as the Duchess of Sussex, a title she received when her husband was bestowed as the Duke of Sussex by his grandmother, the late Queen Elizabeth. As well as Duchess of Sussex, Meghan holds the titles of Countess of Dumbarton and Baroness Kilkeel. Despite marrying a prince, Meghan's career on her son Archie's birth certificate was listed as Princess of the United Kingdom but she cannot be known as Princess Meghan as she wasn't born into the royal family. Speaking on her Archetypes podcast, Meghan claimed she was conscious about meeting young girls who would say oh my god, it's a real life princesses. This, however, angered Piers who has been outspoken against the former Deal or No Deal star, he said, she calls herself a princess on her podcast, little girls who grow up to make a real princess, you're not a princess, she's not a princess anyway. I'm from Sussex, I've spent more time in Sussex than Meghan and Harry have in the last two weeks, so, actually a month but they're never there, so.